This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the creator of Dojo.net. Welcome to another episode of Dojo TV, a show where we talk about all things measure design and visual effects. On news to cover today, the first set of news is AE Viewer is now free, or there is now a free version of AE Viewer in the new AE Viewer 2 version of the plugin. It's a very awesome kind of media browser for After Effects, really cool extension for After Effects. We did a review on it in the past, so links down below in the video description, but they have now improved it with version two, so it's better, faster, more powerful way to work with media files. You can easily preview and import AEPs and Mogart files without even opening them. There's support for a ton of formats. You can also create collections or mood boards, kind of like a Pinterest for After Effects to kind of create your own little theme for your project. You can access your scripts for fast access, view all of your installed packages all in one place. There's support for folder previews and multiple import options. You can even preview audio with waveform with hover support. So you kind of hover over the audio and kind of preview it that way very quickly. Um, so it's kind of like a boosted up version of Adobe Bridge. You can create virtual folders with inspiration and references to convey a mood or a theme. You can also favorite common folders and search for files using keywords and tags. There is an API coming, so if you're like a developer or um, a designer, you want to create your own packages, you know, the, the API will be available for you to kind of utilize and use and kind of integrate your own products into AE Viewer. And of course, there's a premium version or a pro version, and this includes stuff like additional text options, font tools, preset, Premiere Pro support, renaming file support, and a whole bunch more. This is an awesome plugin from Motionland. I'm glad that they released a free version, so at least you guys can try it out and mess around with and have fun with it. And if you want the pro version, it's there for you guys. And then they also partnered up with AE Scripts to kind of make this happen as well. So this is really awesome stuff. Really great for the community. Download it, have fun, check it out. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. So the next item of news is from our folks over at Insidium. We've been talking about Insidium a lot lately, but they've recently released kind of like a new subscription product classification called Insidium Fused. And basically it contains all the Insidium products in one complete collection, kind of like, you know, Maxon One or Red Giant Complete or whatever. But basically this includes all the particle effects plugins. You can create realistic terrains, get access to all the three resources that they have, you know, materials, shaders and all that stuff, training, technical support, and of course, access to their content repository files, all the project files that you see that they have. Actually a really good collection of stuff. This is one of the few companies that I think have really, really awesome resources and uh, files and references for their products and stuff like that. But the products include X particles, Terraform FX, which we talked about last week, and of course, mesh tools and some other stuff. Uh, mesh tools, which is a new thing that I haven't heard of yet, is actually a kind of a cool little plugin to kind of manipulate geometry and stuff. Also sign up, there's a new tutorial that kind of shows you how to create kind of organic organic geometry using mesh tools, um, using the instance of divider objects. You learn kind of how to animate them using shaders and fields to create a non-destructive procedural animation. So just a fun little tutorial if you're kind of interested in what mesh tools can do. Um, pretty cool stuff, check it out. They also released X-Particle Build 1030. This is the first build of X-Particle that's part of the Insidium Fuse collection. They introduced Bullet, an industry standard physics engine to kind of improve physics in the particle systems. They improve the XP Open VDB, XP Shatter, and some other stuff, and of course, a UI update. So pretty cool stuff. Check it out, Insidium Fuse down below. Also, if anyone from Insidium is watching this video, you know, I plug you guys all the time. You know, if you want to sponsor me, you know, hit me up. So the folks over at Motion Ape released a new kind of preset tool called Auto Bender. And basically, this is a small tool for After Effects 2019 and above that kind of improves on the original CC Bend It tool by properly calculating the start and end values of the bends. So it works with most layers such as shapes, text, pre-comps, images, and footage and stuff like that. It sticks to your layers and works well with transform properties. And best of all, it's name your own price, so pay whatever you want, links down below. Before we go any further, I wanna give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to create an amazing website whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support, and best of all, if you use the promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the dojo. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. If you guys are really enjoying this video so far, do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment down below in the comment section. This kind of helps boost our engagement and pushes our videos out to more people. So Clinton Jones, aka Punisher, again, he does a really awesome job releasing really detailed, awesome kind of motion design and visual effects video tutorials on his YouTube channel, live streams, stuff like that. But he basically created a really, really amazing video on how to capture and create your own 3D materials 
custom 3D materials for your work in 3D application and texturing and stuff. Um, so we talked about how to capture it out in the field using your camera. It'll also show you how to stitch and process your photos in Photoshop to create really high quality textures. It talks about how to strain and align your textures, how to color correct them and make them a seamless texture. We'll even go over how to create normal specular and roughness maps for your textures, organize them and prepare them for your 3D application. So this is a very, very detailed, you know, process and workflow. It covers from start to finish. I really wish I had something like this in the beginning because it was very, very hard for me. And even today, texturing and managing textures and how to, you know, create them and stuff is very, very confusing. And this is an awesome tutorial. So check it out if you're even remotely interested in 3D. Of course, it's not a Dejo TV episode without talking about Action VFX. They have a new little quick tip video here talking about blending modes. So it kind of walks you through how the blending modes work and the thought process on when to select them and which blending modes will work for what, when compositing. They cover multiply, screen, add, subtract, overlay. These are very common blending modes that you'll find yourself using very often, even outside of VFX compositing. I use them all the time. Check it out down below. They have two new tutorials talking about energy blast effects, so how to build a sci-fi gun boss effect using stock footage. They'll cover how to convert 3D null data into 2D data using expressions, expression to keyframe conversions, and a whole bunch of other stuff, including glows and iconic lens flares and stuff like that using Red Giant's optical glow and other stuff. They also have another tutorial on how to composite dust explosions inside After Effects. So they'll talk about how to do planar tracking in Mocha, some of the roto brush basics within After Effects, and how to composite dust stock footage and debris, and how to utilize some of their free bullet tracer elements. So check it out down below, Action VFX, huge friends of the channel. The folks over at Boris actually released a new free training series where they talk about complex wire removal with Silhouette and Mocha. So you'll learn kind of high level paint and roto scales and time timing tricks on how to use power mesh and mega plates. The master class is by Ben Brown Lee. So he has over three hours of training broken down into 15 videos. And the best part is it's absolutely free. And this is a really great way to learn the concepts of wire removal and kind of just upping your VFX and compositing game. Even if you don't own any Boris plugins like me, I mean, I don't use anything from Boris. So, you know, I've never even talked to Boris about anything, but this is kind of a good way to kind of learn tracking and kind of really learn the idea and concepts of wire removal. So check it out, free course down below. And lastly, the folks over at Premium B did a nice little article on how to get over 280 free sound effects for your videos, apps, films, games, really cool stuff. So vintage sound effects, kitchen and cooking sound effects, movie trailer sound effects, glitch sound effects, explosion, sci-fi, computer horror, ambient atmosphere, so much more. So pretty much anything you can think of, they have free sound effects for you guys. Again, check out the article down below. We also dropped a new video recently about how to get free sound effects and music for your, you know, your YouTube videos, your films, your apps, your games, stuff like that. Really cool stuff. Check out our video down below as well if you want to expand your royalty free music library. So that's pretty much it, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe for more videos like this. My name is Vincent Wynn from the Career of Dojo. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.